another aspect of my lucid dreaming practice that really falls into this category of me trying to keep it uncomplicated is with wake back to bed and shout out to my boy at Risto on Instagram for pointing this out because I almost totally forgot to include it in these string of videos just because it well, it never crossed my mind. Like it wasn't until I made my first post on this topic that my boy pointed this out and I was like, man, this that actually lines up perfectly with this topic for me. So early on when I first found out about the wake back to bed technique, I did have some success with it. So I knew that it worked and it was very good at increasing the chances of you getting lucid, right? Having long, having a nice, long, stable, lucid dream. But my problem with it, and at least those problem with it, and I'm sure many other people out there as well, is that more often than not, when I would try to use it, I'd be stuck awake for like super long, like two plus hours trying to fall back asleep. So it just wasn't worth me making use of it very often. But because I knew that it worked and I really wanted to try and incorporate it into my own personal practice, I essentially ha had to modify it to fit me and my own practice, you know, better. So, well, I guess, first of all, I knew these two things about me personally. I knew that if I woke up in the middle of the night and didn't have to stay awake for like 20 plus minutes and just go immediately back to sleep, I was very good at that. I mean, I'm a super light sleeper, so that type of shit happens all the time anyway. And also, I knew that if I woke up mid-dream and could go immediately back to sleep, I would more often than not continue on with that same dream. So basically, I was trying to, you know, use those two facts, combine them in with the classic wake back to bed approach to, you know, fit me better. So I basically did it like this. Instead of, you know, setting one alarm four, five, six hours into sleep, waking up, staying awake for 20 minutes, then trying to go back to sleep, I would set many alarms, sometimes like, sometimes like every 90 minutes while I was getting crazy with it, really going for something, right? And with the main goal being trying to get up mid-dream. So I would keep my, my phone or my alarm really, like really close to me in bed. So I could immediately get it, turn it off, recall if I'm dreaming. Then if I was, try to immediately fall back asleep and re-enter that same dream lucidly. I would typically do that with some type of like hypnagogic, hypnopompic meditation kind of a approach. Okay, so but what are some of the pluses and minuses to this kind of modified approach? Well, first of all, I guess we'll start off with the kind of big minus is that per wake up attempt, you know, this this modified technique is a, has a lot lower success or hit rate than, you know, the classic wake back to bed technique. But on its plus side is that it just gives you so many chances and so many reps in with this, right? If all you got to do is just wake up mid-dream, if you wake up later on in the night, I mean, it's fucking almost guaranteed to be waking up mid-dream, right? So you can get a lot of reps in. And then one of the kind of unforeseen benefits to me, you know, relying heavily on this approach early on in my practice is that it got me really good at re-entering a dream lucidly where, shoots, man, I mean, nowadays, I mean, nowadays, if I'm already lucid and say, like, I exert too much effort in the dream and then wake myself up out of it early, man, I'm, like, fucking 90% of the time or better, I'm able to re-enter that same dream lucidly. Um, If I'm getting enough from a non-lucid dream and trying to go to sleep, I mean, it's definitely not in the high 90%, but, you know, a good portion of that time, too, I can also just kind of manage the hypnagogic, hypnopompic space, sink down into it, and then enter that um, that dream lucidly from then on as well. So really can be useful. Um, just a nice option out there for people who have a problem, who have a struggle with falling back asleep with the classic approach. Um, one kind of light at the end of the tunnel I can throw out there for people who do struggle with falling back asleep, like I did at first, is that as my practice progressed, I did actually get a lot better at falling asleep after staying awake doing the more classic approach and the thing that really brought this clear into my eyes was last year when we got our puppy um i was constantly having to get up like every night spend time with the puppy right and she's crying and take her out to pee and shit so i had this you know so i had this classic wake back to bed shit forced upon me essentially right and what i found with that is you know i i really had no problem falling asleep then and my lucid dream hit rate then for those like you know week or two and i had to do that were slamming was was super good which I guess kind of brings me back to the point that I briefly brought up earlier as to why I think people oftentimes have a hard time falling back asleep with weight back to bed, especially early on in their practice, is that you just have all this other, you have all this other pent up, you know, you have all this expectation for it to work, especially if you're doing something like taking galantamine or something like that, where the half-life isn't that long and you really have to fall asleep within like, you know, an hour, half to two hours, or that's just, just done and processed through you already. It just puts too much pressure on it. And then sleep is already such a finicky thing that if you have all this shit in your brain of trying to fall asleep and noticing maybe even the hypnagogia and that might shock you awake if you're not used to seeing that kind of stuff too, you know, it, it can kind of fuck with you and make it have make you have a hard time falling asleep. But, you know, this is a lifetime practice, right? Lucid dreaming to me is a lifetime thing, right? So 
you know, if you struggle falling asleep with wake back to bed for the first, you know, few months of your practice, a year or so, well, you got the whole rest of your life to have this shit not be a problem at all. So, um, kind of makes sense. I mean, do whatever works for you. Uh, mess with both styles, man. Give give my modified approach a try. Give the classic approach a try. See what works. Modify it yourself. Make it fit your own personal life better. And um, yeah, keep dreaming. <laughs>